actually want another one of those uh, uh, European composites that uh, is uh, so uh, popular over here. Well, you could think so because it's a mighty sleek and beautiful looking thing, but no, this is an all-American. All-American design, all-American manufacturer, all-American distribution. What's this airplane called? This was a brand new one in the SLSA world. It's called the Lightning from Arion. The name of the company is Arion. The brand or the model is Lightning. And this is the LS1. Just got certified a week ago today. The first showing here at uh, the LSA Mall at Sun and Fun 2009. Now, this is also an award winner in the past, though, in the, uh, I guess, the experimental category, we might call it. Well, they had quite a run with this airplane as a kit. There's already 40 of them flying as a kit, and it's a sweet flying airplane and can qualify as a special light sport aircraft. Now, what type of control system is used in this airplane? This one uses side-by-side uh, -side seating, very comfortable, and dual joysticks, dual rudder pedal setup for complete uh, access to uh, in a flight instruction environment. But this airplane's a little hot for a flight school airplane. The uh, same company also produces the Jabiru 230 and 250. That's a better trainer. This is kind of a move-up airplane. This is a go-getter. And what are they powering it with? This is powered by the Jabiru 3300, 120 horsepower engine. Uh, no surprise because the same company is also the U.S. importer of the Jabiru, but they've got it down, make it work well, and that air, that engine in this airplane makes it quite a performer. Now, what kind of changes did they have to make in order to fit into the LSA from what they were doing before? Mainly, they had to slow it down, Dave, with the same engine in it could hit close to 200 miles an hour, and that, of course, doesn't fit within the LSA parameter of 120 knots or 138 miles an hour. But after they got done, they managed to make it so that this airplane will run all day long right at that top of the line speed. So this is one of our fast guys in the LSA segment. So if they're looking for something built in America by Americans, they should check out what website? This is a good one and you go to flylightning.net. Flylightning.net. Now have you flown this one as well now? I'm looking forward to my first flight on it as an SLSA in the fixed gear model. And I'll have that report up on my website, as I do with the other one already, and that's at bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com.